How's it going guys? This is Jaxco. Welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we're just gonna review. So of course, I unboxed it earlier before uh, I shoot this video because I wanna share with you guys uh, what is my experience for this product. For the So for this video, uh, we're just gonna tackle uh, what I experienced and uh, how did I install it and my unboxing and my... Uh, installation of software of course and of course the performance of this product so yeah so let's let's get started so yeah for this um, uh, specific product uh, it cost me around hundred and thirty dollars so it's about uh, 5,500 in peso. So yeah, so this is a 120 millimeter uh, AIO which can fit into my PC. Uh, why did I choose this? Because the, uh, my PC case uh, is a mini ITX. All of my parts are uh, compatible only for mini ITX. So I have to adjust for some, some of the parts that I have to buy because my case is very small and it's very compact inside because i want to make my pc build to be uh very portable in case i go to other country or other uh cities if i ever wanted to uh carry my pc it wouldn't be a burden to me because it would be uh, compact uh, parts I can manage to fit it in uh, luggage cases so yeah so let's get started so for the box uh, it is very very cool looking like a uh, uh, very sturdy box so it says over here the Kraken M22 uh, 120 liquid cooler so uh, it's a small box. So from the top, you can see the NZXT Kraken M22 over the top. And you can see the NZXT logo on the bottom right. And that's the top part. So at the right side, you can see the product name, the radiators, the RGB modes, and the pump speed, the water block, the tubes, and the fans, and the warranty, of course, and the system requirements. So it just sees the specification of the product uh the descriptions and some of that so at the back you can see the actual product that is mounted in an uh, cpu so it is very slick looking and it does power with cam, cam application that uh, nzxt is affiliated with so if you guys are not familiar into pc parts uh i say nzxt is like the high end it's like equivalent to apple so yeah so the the price point is very high for such parts uh i've seen a lot of nzxt parts before when i was canvassing for my pc like the pc cases i saw a lot of like uh, the minimal price point of the PC cases for NZXT is five thousand, so it's a little bit, a little bit much uh, for a PC case, and a little bit much for a uh, PC parts if you are on a budget. So yeah, why did I choose the NZXT? I was uh, going for the ZX Z sixty three, the model of Z sixty three of NZXT IO cooler. So, but uh, since my case is mini ITX, uh, I think uh, I think wisely before getting the product because I was waiting for the sale of 1111. So, by the way, I, I got this for the 1111 uh, 11, 11 sale from Shopee. So, this one is before is 6,000. So, it is less 500 pesos only. Uh, so, that's the price point I have to pay. And it's actually a free shipping. The this product came from came from the Dava. Uh, the shop names Innovative Tech. So yeah. So let's get started with the M22 uh, milli, 120 millimeter uh, AIO cooler fan. So for of 
for you guys doesn't know what is an AIO, it's all it's an all-in-one cooler, which has a, has a radiator radiator and a radiator fan and a, a pump block. So it pumps the heat away to the radiators and the fan uh, dissipates the heat from the radiators which causes the uh, CPU heat to go away by blowing winds outside the radiator or by uh, dissipating it. So yeah, so I'm not really familiar with PC parts but when you are researching, you can quite easily uh, understand things when you are searching in the internet, you can understand uh, wh what is more in the CPU or what is more in the PC, what you have to improve the temperatures. So yeah, so the AIO before the AIO cooler, I have the stock CPU fan which came with the Ryzen 5 2600. Uh, it comes with the Ryzen uh, 5 stock cooler. So it is just a mini fan with with heat pipes that dissipates heat when you are using the CPU so for this uh, for the stock coolers they are really not good especially when uh, Ryzen 5 and Ryzen AMD's so AMD uh, generates a lot of heat in their product so I need a AIO cooler to dissipate the heat that my PC is producing. So first, when I ha when I am using the CPU cooler, the stock cooler of AMD, which comes with the CPU of Ryzen 5 2600, uh, my temperature in idle is uh, around 40 to 45. When I first got the PC and first built it, it was around 40. But right now. After a month, uh, it, be, it rises to 43 to 45 whenever I opened my PC. So uh, it takes a lot of, it generates a lot of heat. So I can feel the uh, heat in the air when I am playing, when I am using a full load in my PC. So that's the bad part about the AMD. So uh, I knew I had to get a third party CPU cooler like the AIO that I had mentioned that I need to get uh, to dissipate the heat when I am using my PC. So when I did first install the uh, CPU block and my AIO in my PC to the CPU motherboard, uh, it was quite very hard. So it took me around three to four hours to install the CPU block. Uh, you have to uh, manage and think wisely the position that you're going to uh, do with the radiator and the radiator fan if you want to deposit it outside or make it like exhaust in the back of your uh, PC case so for this one uh, yeah I did the front rear and it dissipates uh, in front my radiator is in front then my PC fan is in the back to uh, dissipate the heat outside so that that's what I did for my uh, AIO radiators so yeah so for the matter that I mentioned that it takes uh, 40 to 45 uh, temperatures Celsius in my PC whenever it's idle then uh, in full load it's about 70 to 80 celsius in my cpu on my stock cooler of course uh, it takes so much heat it generates so much heat like you can feel it in the air when you are rendering videos when you are streaming when you are playing you can feel the heat uh, dissipating through the air when you are playing in your pc so I had to get it. I had to get a cooler. So when I did get the cooler, uh, it lowers the temperature to the idle of uh, the idle is 30 to 35 Celsius. Uh, honestly, it it is very good 
my money is worth it for what I experienced for of course it's yeah it's only been uh, three days uh, it's been new my AIO is new so I don't know if the performance will uh, degrade after a few months or after a few days but the temperature uh, that it reduces is uh, gradually decreases it gradually decreases my CPU temp uh, and I can enjoy playing my games whenever I like to and comfortably ma the uh, the heat that it generates reduce so much vastly so much so yeah for the full load uh, I did take a lot of uh, testing before I make this video so for the full load my temperature is about 60 to 65 celsius that's the lot of heat that it can generate when I'm in full load uh, what I mean in full load is when I am rendering when I am playing and streaming that's that's what it generates for the heat of the CPU so it gradually uh, decreases like 10 to 15 celsius when I installed the AIO cooler but of course my PC is new so uh, it must be it must be that the reason is not is it must be that because it's my PC is still new so that must be the reason that it still doesn't generate a lot of heat but maybe after a few years uh, it will uh, degrade my CPU fans my uh, radiator my pump will uh, eventually degrades but for now I am very happy with the product for the price that I had paid for it so yeah so the very hard part only is the installation and you got you gotta think where to put the wires because I have only one uh, USB port for the motherboard that I have because my motherboard is a uh, mini ITX so it doesn't uh, it doesn't have a lot of uh, ports inside so that's my mistake about it so the cons of my AIO cooler it gradually reduces the temperature of the heat that it generates from my CPU then uh, the second one is it is crazy looking good the NZXT water pump block, uh, damn, it's very very sexy. All of the review that I uh, read from the NZXT products, uh, from what they experience and from the physical uh, appearance of the CPU block, it is very good. Uh, it has a lot of uh, lighting modes. Uh, you can pick from the logo and the circle. There is only two parts of the lighting mode for the M22, the logo and the circle uh, inside the block. So the that the one that I have planned is for the Z63, the model, because it can change the water block into GIF or any image that you want to upload from the software of CAM by NZXT. So for that, uh, because the Z63 has 240 millimeter radiators, uh, it couldn't fit on my case. So I have to adjust for the 120 millimeter uh, AIO cooler fans only. So I have to adjust it because of my case, and I want it to be carried around when I am moving, because I am used to using laptop of course I, I am into gaming laptops before is the two cons that I uh, guarantee that most of you if you want to buy that the AIO of NZXT it is crazy looking good uh, it will gradually re uh, reduce the heat that it generates so that's maybe the two and it is clean looking maybe it is from the physical appearance of NZXT it is a mirror uh, infinity mirror is what they call from the infinite from the uh, pump block from what they have 
So the cons of this one is maybe just the price point. The price point is pretty pretty heavy tall. You have to pay like a hundred dollars for a hundred and for a 120 millimeter AIO cooler. Uh, so most of, most of the cooler that I have seen in online shops and from the uh, uh, groups that I have been in on Facebook because I wanted to canvas and get uh, what's good for my PC, uh, they only have the price point of 2300 to 4000 So that is the 240mm already. So yeah, if if ever that uh, you you guys want my recommendation, uh, I would recommend the N22. I would rate it for 10 over 10 product AIO cooler for any of you guys who is been thinking of getting a AIO cooler for their PC. It is very good. Uh, the performance is good. It gradually decreases the heat. But of course, you have to pay extra for the price. Because the SRP of this one was only $80, I've seen on their sites. But the third price market is above $100 now. So it just takes a lot of money for this kind of product. Also, this, is, uh, this model is very hard to find. I've been looking for this over a month now. But uh, when the sale of 11.11, luckily I... So uh, M22 model, then right away I check it out and place the order. Then the seller uh, thankfully accepted my order. So that's about it. And if you guys are thinking for getting it, the AIO cooler, I would recommend NZXT's product. It is really good even though the price is very high. Uh, it will cost you, uh, it will be worth your money worth what you're paying for for your PC parts and 60 and GXT products really doesn't disappoint I think they are the luxury the luxury brand of PC world if you have to ask me because them and GXT products are really really expensive so this is Jack's cool and I hope you guys like it and shout out to my uh, friends who are still watching my reviews even though it's really bad uh, yeah shout out to Justin Garcia my friend from Baguio uh, when I was college so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and see you again next time